So yes, we scaled back our barricades on Argyle Street and McKenzie in the Highway 6 bypass. Uh, roads that we've seen uh, dug up for now for the last four months. And so we've uh, did our best to make sure that we're listening to community folks that are, are interested in seeing those roads open and wanting to uh, see us move towards a peaceful resolution to this. The OPP still have warrants for all of us, as well as the permanent injunction that still remains in place on Landback Lane. And so we are uh, quite hesitant in our trust of the uh, police at this moment. And uh, I think it's a matter of time before the OPP started getting pressure again to uh, enforce that injunction as well as enforce the warrants on myself and many others here. They've given some assurance to say that they're not trying to escalate things further, but at the same time, we've heard those assurances before. We heard those assurances before August 5th when our people were shot at and tasered and dragged from our lands. This was a peaceful camp. A hundred OPP officers came in that day to arrest nine of us. Shot at our people, tasered our people. One guy was tasered in the neck and in the head. The other was dragged along the pavement. He's got scars down the side of his face now that he'll, he'll have for the rest of his life. The OPP have a choice to make as to whether or not to escalate this situation into something that has been for the last seven months now that has seen roads dug up, that has seen highways and railways shut down. I think a message has been made loud and clear that if you continue to do this, this will not be tolerated and we will do everything that we can to defend our people and our lands. There's nothing that those guns and those cops or jails their courts or their injunctions can do to, to, to dissuade us from, from pushing forward. This is our land. This is Haudenosaunee territory and it's going to stay that way. All of these agreements that have been made with our ancestors, these ancestors gave their blood, their sweat, their tears for this land. What kind of disrespect would that be for me to say that they did that for nothing? And so for us, the end goal in all of this is land back. Whatever it takes to make that happen is what we're willing to do. The OPP has an opportunity to force their government to come to the table with a nation to nation relationship building process that sees our nation recognized as it is, as a nation. It really, it doesn't matter to us whether the, you vote in band council, you are a confederacy supporter, you're a Mohawk worker, like these are all divisions that have happened in our community by the hand of the federal government, by the hand of the RCMP before the OPP. We've said over and over again that you know, this has been about unity and this is for everybody. It doesn't matter which family, which faction, we all know that this is our land. We all know unequivocally that this is Haudenosaunee territory. We've had a ton of solidarity uh, statements put out by lots and lots of folks across the country. Uh, the Wet'suwet'en, the Sequimic, uh, Mi'kmaq, uh, folks from Kitigan Zibi, and all, all these folks have come out and visited and, and, and you know, came out to Land Back Lane to, to express that solidarity. I think this is one thing that uh, was made really clear last year in, with Shutdown Canada, but seeing, you know, railways and, and highways and uh, uh, waterways blocked from, from coast to coast. Our people, regardless of what nation you come from across this country, there were 300 plus nations here before settlers arrived. And those nations had many, many old uh, alliances between them. And so those alliances are something that we have to, to uphold. When the OPP come in to, to, to here or RCMP in Wet'suwet'en or, or in uh, Sequimic territories or uh, Kitigan Zibi, like, trust me, we will do whatever we can to lift their voices as well. This idea that you can take advantage of indigenous communities across the country with pipelines and highways and railways, those days are over.